Welcome to our channel, Cooking Like Antonio. Today we're going to be making a couscous salad. And you're going to prepare the couscous like you would any other pasta. We're going to bring our water to a boil with a generous amount of salt. And it is our pearl couscous that we'll be using today. Okay, so now that our water is boiling, we've already added a generous amount of salt. And we're going to add 200 grams of the pearl couscous to our water. Okay. And then per instructions, it will be a little bit different than traditional pasta. Uh, we're told to reduce the heat and cover with a lid, which is what we're going to do, and cook uh, between 8 to 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Okay, so our couscous is finished. We've cooked it for 8 minutes. Uh, we've drained it, uh, and now we're going to let it cool down a little bit before we add the rest of the ingredients. We are ready to add our prepared ingredients. We'll start with one red and one yellow pepper that have been chopped. Next we'll add half cucumber. If you are using a type of cucumber with a thick waxy skin, be sure to peel it first. A quick tip that we learned from watching one of Antonio's videos is to snap the st celery stalks in half before you start chopping it. That way you can easily remove some of the tough strands. Chopping the vegetables will require a little patience. You'll want to chop them into pieces that are only slightly larger than your couscous pearls. Okay, the next step is to add our spring onion. Uh, the recipe calls for four spring onions. Uh, we thought that might be a little bit too much for our personal taste, so we just used the green part. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to our salad. And the next is four asparagus spears that have been chopped up, of course, and we're going to add that. Okay, and then we have half an avocado have here that has been chopped already. Yes, it has everything. So we're going to add our avocado. Okay. And then one apple and one pear. Now we use a green apple. I suppose the type of apple is going to depend on you, what, what taste you would like, but um, we use a green and a pear. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, and then next we have a handful of parsley. Now the parsley you want to chop very finely. Okay, which again has been done. So we're going to add that. And then we have our mint, um, and we just took, it doesn't look like a lot, but we just kind of took a handful of mint leaves. And add that. So a little side note about the mint. If you buy the little mint plant from a store, uh, grocery store, wherever you buy the plant, uh, once you've taken what you need, you can take the rest and put it into a pot. Uh, you definitely don't want to put it in your garden because it will spread quickly, but if you do put it in a pot, it will grow and you'll multiply and it will, you'll have fresh mint for the rest of the summer. Yes, and also, um, mint is a perennial, I think down to zone four or five, I'm not exactly sure, I'll, I'll have to look that up. So yeah, it'll come back every year. Okay. So the final two steps is we're going to add 60 milliliters of olive oil, uh, drizzle that in. Okay. There's that. And the final step is lemon juice, and that is... That's the juice of one lemon. The juice of one lemon. And we're going to add that. We're almost done. Okay, and then we're just going to mix the salad together with the dressing. And finally, we'll be adding some salt and black pepper to taste. And I will tell you that mint and everything mixed together, it smells very, very good. And again, I think it's salt to taste. Just kind of go by what you like. I don't think there's any specific measurement to the salt. So we're going to do that and add a little pepper. And give it a go and see where we're at. Okay, and once we have everything mixed together, we'll go ahead and do a taste test. Okay, we're ready for the taste test. 
Okay, um, and here we go. Give it a little test now that it's finished. Frankly, I wasn't sure that he was actually going to try it because he hates onion, he hates avocado, and he hates pears. I don't know what kind of person hates those three things, but... But I'm still going to try it anyway, so that should say something. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's very nice and fresh. Nice crisp to it. That's a beautiful summery salad. Pretty colors. Mm. Okay. So everything together really, really works. Mm. You know, this would be good for like a, you know, like a small, maybe lunch. Yeah, okay, I was know, thinking. Like make a, a head lunch, yeah. Like a light lunch. Definitely as a side dish on your back porch uh, during the summer months when you got the grill going. Mm, very, very refreshing. Yeah, exactly what I was going to say. Very refreshing. Mm -hmm. mm. Again, it, it's not pears that I hate, by the way. It's celery that I hate, not pears. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there's celery in there, and I really can't taste it. It all kind of works together. The oil, the lemon juice, mm. um, the couscous is nice. And, uh, the, and the little bit of mint there, mm. very, very good. Yeah. This a very light, refreshing meal. Or a side dish, again, for, for a light lunch or, you know, definitely a side dish. Mm, very good. Mm. With that being said, we'll see you next time. Mm. And I will try a little more, so that should tell you something. Enjoy.